I got involved with the Chawa Collective as a volunteer. I started out maintaining the planters in Rongraves Park. So we were trying to grow some vegetables in those. We've progressed onto herbs, which seem to thrive a bit better in that space. Every plot is completely different. We have about five sites around Kidlington, plus three more in Bicester, uh, some more in Banbury. Yeah, every garden is just a completely different character. We grow vegetables in tyres at the Park Hill site. They seem to work really well. We're just trying to demonstrate different ways of growing things, reusing things like tyres, which would otherwise have been waste that's difficult to dispose of. Uh, we're on the Hazel Walk allotment site at the moment, which is flourishing. We've got some uh, peas looking ready for harvest this morning. The apple trees coming along nicely. We've got a little wildlife pond just over there as well. We have slow worms on this site and they're really good at getting the slugs for us, gardener's worst nightmare. So we're trying to encourage the species that will actually help us and be beneficial to the growing of the crops. We try to work according to permaculture methods, garden with carbon friendly practices and so on. So we do as least little digging as possible because that will destroy the soil structure and release carbon into the atmosphere. Um, so we make wood chip pathways, which keeps the carbon in the soil and is a quite a natural way of doing things. We have different layers of um, perennials and shrubs and canopy layer and vines, and climbing plants and things. But yeah, we've also got some annual vegetables growing with potatoes and courgettes I can see coming along nicely, the onions are coming along nicely. Just a different variety of fruits and vegetables. But we also sow some wildflowers for attracting pollinators. Just a complete mix, really. When we harvest produce, uh, the volunteers take first dibs because they have been putting in the hours caring for it but when we have surplus then we take it straight up to the larder at Exeter Hall run by the Chawa Collective. Mm -hmm.